What will the city of the future look like? Will it look something like this? An incredibly futuristic vision of the city? A kind of science fiction vision of the city? A vision of the city where what we know of the city today is completely absent. A completely revolutionary vision of the city, a very technological view of the city where everything looks completely different. Might it look like something like this, for example, a kind of version of the, the Jetsons, the Jetsons on steroids, or even perhaps Blade Runner on steroids, with, with buildings hanging from the sky, and a, a vision of the city that it would be radically different to anything that we have today. If you look at the movies, we can discover a number of very interesting visions of what the future of the city might look like. This is Metropolis, directed by Fritz Lang and produced in Germany in 1926. In many ways, this is completely extraordinary. This was produced, if you imagine what Berlin was like in 1926, it was nothing like this. In fact, the, few, the New York, which was to, build, was to be built, in, uh, was to become something, I guess, not so dissimilar, had yet to be built. This was an astonishing vision of the city with these uh, these extraordinary bridges with all sorts of locomotion, um, with planes flying through the center of the, of the city, that was an amazingly futuristic and ambitious and far-sighted vision of what the city of the future could look like. Equally, we might look towards uh, Blade Runner, uh, 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 directed by Ridley Scott and released in 1982. This was a vision of the city that was uh, set in November 2019 and in many ways not so far from certain cities. The kind of advertising on the side of buildings, it, if anything, is, is almost nostalgic compared to the vision that we get uh, of Shanghai today. The kind of LED advertisements on the, on the, on the side of buildings that proliferate all over the center of Shanghai. We don't have flying cars, perhaps, but we certainly have drones. And this is a kind of view of and, and maglev trains and other things. Um, so in some senses, this vision was not so far from the reality of what we have today. But in many ways, the most interesting uh, uh, vision uh, in terms of the future of our cities uh, and future of, our, of life in our cities was um, comes from Minority Report a movie directed by uh, Steven Spielberg and released in, tw in 2002. What made this particular movie so interesting is that Spielberg uh, collected a, a think tank of informed individuals to advise him on what the future of the city might be like. He, he included um, people from NASA, he included people from Silicon Valley, he included a number of architects, Bill Mitchell, who was the person who uh, founded the, uh, the Media Lab at MIT, uh, and also Greg Lynn, one of the most progressive architects that we have among um, we have today. Well, in some senses, uh, they got it wrong. They initially were thinking about what the vision of the city would be like in 50 years time. And uh, the, the, the problem they thought in 50 years time, our concern would be about immortality. We'd all be living forever, so what would we do with ourselves? So they, in, instead, they looked 25 years into the future. And this was the vision they created. What did they get wrong? Well, we don't have uh, planes going up the, facade, uh, up, the, uh, up the facade of our building. We don't have cars going up the facade of our buildings. We, we, there are some things that were, were wrong and some things that maybe were correct, but maybe incorrect in how they were portrayed. The idea of these people, uh, individuals floating in pools uh, and predicting the future. Well, we don't have that, but for sure we have AI and AI has been used not just to only predict things, but also to control crime. We have surveillance cameras everywhere. We have gesture-based systems, they're being used everywhere. And of course, we have recognition systems, but not based on, on iris recognition as they were predicting here, but on facial recognition. Indeed, everybody, almost everyone opens their phones using facial recognition these days. In some senses, it is absolutely here already. But what will the city of the future look like? 
this is uh, an image of, uh, of of Los Angeles, the city in which uh, two of these movies were made, um, Blade Runner and and, um, and Minority Report. Will Los Angeles look much different to the Los Angeles like Los Angeles of today? Um, I don't think so. I think many of the buildings will be we retained. It doesn't make sense to destroy them. Many of the buildings we retained. Uh, there will be some new buildings, of course, but we can't guarantee that they're going to look futuristic anyway. They could even be traditional buildings. But what we th what I think we can predict for sure is that the city of the future and the buildings of the future are going to be retrofitted with the latest information technology. The city of the future, I would I, I would I, I would predict, is going to be controlled by AI. The, the buildings of the future are going to be monitored and controlled by AI. The city of the future is not going to be a city, I don't think, that looks so different from the city of today, but it's a city that's going to be behaving, that's going to be um, operating in a radically different way. It is going to be an informational city, an informational city that is behaving, that is monitored and controlled by AI, that operates in an utterly different uh, way to the cities of today, but probably won't look so dissimilar.